Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the LCD and glass screen assembly on your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Alright, so in this video we're going to be taking apart the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 uh, and I'm going to be showing you how to replace the entire LCD screen assembly. Uh, so in case you cracked it, you'll be able to get into it and replace it. All right, so let's get started. First thing we need to do uh, to take apart the Note 8 is we need to remove the back cover. Okay, so first off, we're gonna have to remove the back cover. Uh, we're gonna do this by giving it heat. Uh, you can do this with either a hair dryer, staying around four inches away from the phone and moving it around the hair dryer or a heat gun until you touch it and it's hot enough that it burns uh, just a little bit, not too much. Um, you know, you want to be careful you don't overheat it because it could uh, internally damage the motherboard of the phone or the parts or the uh, screen as well. Okay, so uh, you can use a hair dryer, a heat gun and go around it. You can also uh, lay the phone flat on a hot plate, which is what I use. So I'm going to be putting it on the hot plate over here. It's going to be about 115 degrees Celsius. All right, we're just going to place it on there. Okay, and we're going to leave it on there. Uh, for about a minute or two uh, at about 100 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius Okay, and then once once it's hot enough uh, That you touch it and it burns uh, just a little bit uh, Then we'll begin to remove the back cover. Okay, so I'll continue recording once it's hot enough Okay, so very quickly before we uh, begin to separate the back cover uh, I'm gonna be using some gloves because the, the phone will be uh, pretty hot Okay, so I'll be using some gloves for help we're going to be using a suction cup to stick it on the back cover and we're going to be using either something very thin like a business card like this uh you know or a prying tool as long as it's thin uh plastic preferred because if it's metal it could damage uh the inside of the phone and it can also dam damage the color on the back cover okay so once the phone is hot enough we're going to hold it uh touch it to Make sure it burns just a little bit. Okay, it feels like it's pretty hot now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, suction cup and place it on the back here. Okay, and we're going to pull on it slightly on the back here to try and uh, get uh, an opening. All right, if you feel that uh, the heat starts going away a little bit, place it back on the hot plate for another couple seconds or a minute. There you go, I see an opening right there. Okay, so we're going to have to stick the prying tool in there. We're going to have to open it up. Right there, got it in there. All right, once you have it in there, we're going to just go around it. Okay, uh, it helps to stick something else in there as well. Okay, maybe like a business card. Okay, please remember if you feel that you need to give it more heat, uh, put it back on the hot plate. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this now, the suction cup. Let's put it back on the hot plate to give it some more heat to loosen the adhesive. And usually I'm not this careful with uh, removing the back cover, uh, but since this is a Note 8 and I really don't want to damage the back cover, uh, you know you have to be extra careful. Uh, so take your time doing it so that you don't break it. All right, so just remember keep applying heat. If you feel like the adhesive is loosening up,
You can also fold the business card in half to make it uh, stronger. Okay, let's fold this one in half too. All right, so I heat it up just a little bit more so that we can finish the top part of the phone here. All right. So there we go, the back cover came off. Let's put these here to the side. Okay, so that's why we have to be very careful because the cable that connects the fingerprint scanner actually connects connects right there. Okay, so we're gonna have to disconnect that cable. You gotta be careful when you're going around it with the tool so that you don't rip it. I'm gonna disconnect it. It's kinda hard to see. We have to be careful with that cable. Okay, so let's remove the cable. I'm gonna disconnect it. There you go. Uh, so uh, the next step is we're going to need to be removing all of the Phillips head screws that are holding on uh, the back frame here of the phone. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so once you have all of the uh, Phillips head screws removed, we can now go ahead and begin to uh, pry up on the uh, back pieces of the housing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove the bottom one. You can just pry it up with your finger. It comes off pretty easy. Be careful with this wireless uh, charging pad here. Okay, it's going to be held down with some adhesive. So pull it out. Okay, and then get under this one right here to lift it up. And it comes out completely. There we go. All right, so let's disconnect the battery. Okay, uh, next thing to let's get this out of the way. We're gonna do, need to remove the S pin. And actually, you could do this uh, first thing as well. Okay, and we're also going to remove the SIM card tray. Uh, so next thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to disconnect all of the flex cables. So here we have the LCD cable. Let's disconnect that one. Let's disconnect this cable right here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this small cable here, which is for the power button. Let's go ahead and disconnect the cameras, the front camera. And the uh, second front camera. This phone has two front cameras and two rear cameras. Let's go ahead and disconnect this over here. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and disconnect the antennas down here. And this blue antenna. All right, so we're gonna be uh, removing Phillips head screw up here. So once you have all of the uh, flex cables and antennas disconnected and the screw removed, we can go ahead and lift up on the motherboard. You might need to wiggle it a little bit to uh, be released from uh, any clips that are holding it down. Okay, it's still going to be connected down here to the charging port. 
So we're going to want to uh, disconnect it carefully from the charging port. That's the cable right there. That's connected to the charging port. So let's go ahead and unplug it. Okay, there we go. And then here we have the uh, Note 8 motherboard, main board. All right, let's put that to the side. Okay, so uh, here, if you want to replace the screen, what you would do is you would uh, once again give it hit heat here on the front screen. You would give it heat okay until it's hot enough and then you'll begin to just pry up on the screen to remove it completely and place the new lcd and glass screen assembly that you would buy uh, you would place it in through here and stick the uh, flex cable connector in through right here okay there's going to be a small opening there where you would stick the cable through and place the screen on top of the frame then once you do that once you have the frame in then you'll put the phone back together Go ahead and place the motherboard back on. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, connect the charging port first. Let's move the antennas back. Let's go ahead and place the charging port. Okay, once again, let's make sure that the charging port is uh, connected right. There we go. Okay, then we can place it down. Okay, let's move uh, all the flex cables out of the way. The camera's up here. The battery cable, let's pull it back so that the motherboard goes in. Okay, let's give it a little bit of pressure downwards to make sure everything uh, goes back in its place. And let's go ahead and connect the flex cables now. All right, and now let's go ahead and connect the antennas back on. Uh, before we put it back together, let's remember to put this black screw in. Okay, and then this one goes right here. Okay, so once uh, you're ready, let's go ahead and place the uh, back pieces of the housing back on. Let's put in the top one first. So just squeeze it down. Make sure there's no screws or anything stuck to it so that it fits in correctly. There we go. Let's do the bottom one now. Again, just give it pressure on all the sides. Make sure it goes back in correctly. There we go. Okay, and then uh, once the back uh, pieces of the cover are back on, let's go ahead and place all the Phillips head screws back in. All right, so once all of the Phillips head screws are back in, uh, okay, so we're ready to install the back cover back on. Okay, once you're ready uh, to install your back cover back on, uh, what, first thing we're going to need to do is uh, connect the cable here for the fingerprint uh, scanner in the back. Okay, with something uh, thin like this, you're going to hold it down. Okay, and you're going to give it some pressure until it connects. Okay, so as you can see there, it connected, oh, and it disconnected. Okay, you can even do it with your finger as well. I mean, I just did it with my finger, just make sure you don't pull it 
I felt it connect. Okay, once you feel uh, it's completely connected, then we're ready to close the back cover, lay it on there, position it correctly on top of the phone. All right, so once uh, the cable is connected here, just position the back cover right on top of the phone where you want it to make sure it falls on correctly. Okay, and on the bottom here as well. Okay, and then give it pressure around all the sides so that it can close back up. Remember to uh, reuse the old adhesive. Uh, if you don't have the old adhesive, place new adhesive around all the corners so that it will uh, give it that sealing power uh, that they have. Okay, so just go around all the sides, give it some pressure. Okay, and then uh, stick the stylus back in. Place the SIM card tray back on. And power it on so we can test it. All right, so uh, so the LCD looks like it's working perfectly. All right, so that was just a quick video on how to replace the LCD and glass screen assembly on your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time, guys. Peace.